So today I'm talking about a P2237 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2237 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor positive current control circuit open bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, basically they're sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer, which uses it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get a P2237 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this, mainly with the bank one sensor one O2 sensor. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that's going to be the side of the engine that's having the problem. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. And each bank of the engine is going to have two oxygen sensors, sometimes more, but usually two. You're going to have sensor one, which is going to be located before the catalytic converter, sometimes called the upstream O2 sensor. And then you're going to have the sensor two, which is located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. So sometimes that sensor is called the downstream O2 sensor. And with this P2237 code, the computer's seeing some kind of issue going on here with this bank one side, usually with this sensor one O2 sensor. And so what would be some possible causes of P2237 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that O2 sensors just failed, it's just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. You can't test these sensors if you want to. There's some different ways to go about testing them. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can use that. You can also test these with a multimeter. There can be different types of sensors, so you will need to look up what's going on with your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But these four wire sensors are pretty common. And basically what's going on with these is you're gonna have four wires, the same two colored wires like right here, those are going to be going to the heater element, which basically helps that sensor warm up quickly so it can go into what's called a closed loop. And to test the heater element that's built into there, you just check it for continuity and see if it's burnt out. Because that heater element is kind of like a light bulb. If it burns out, it just doesn't work no more. You can also check to see what the rated ohms are for that heater element because it will have rated ohms that it's supposed to be at. And you can also check the oxygen sensor side to check to see if it's at the right rated ohms to be sure it's good. You will need to look up what the specifications are for your particular O2 sensor, but you can go and test those O2 sensors because the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the O2 sensor. Basically, if there's any kind of problem here, like an open, a short, there's like a bad connection or something like that, then that's going to cause issues. Again, you will need to get schematics for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on with which wires are going where and then what's happening there. But if you could get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and you could go through and be sure you got good grounds, that you're getting voltage and that there is no opens or shorts or anything like this going on. Because the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue inside of the wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2237 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.